Howdy folks, Tony Thomas with you today and our subject today is the wonderful old melody Wildwood Flower and this song's been around since about 1860. The same gentleman who wrote the wonderful old Civil War ballad Lorena was responsible also for Wildwood Flower and this song became really famous in country and bluegrass music in the year of 1928 it was recorded by the Carter family of Virginia. May Maybelle Carter was the guitarist, but anyway, they made it real famous with their recordings of that time period. And there's been many ways to play this particular song. And a lot of people, bands, use this as an instrumental, but there is lyrics to it as well. Now, the, what I'm going to show you today is the most common way, is the C way. And we're going to play within these three scales, the first, second, and third frets. And we're going to be playing with our bass strings, our G, D, and A, and number six string up here, which is your bass string. And watch real careful. I'm going to go real slow with it. And this is one C version that a lot of people use. It goes something like this. But this one I'm going to use the uh, the higher scales from the E and B string as well as the bass notes that I just played. Here we go. three frets, number one, two, and three, playing those notes and riffs and runs. And a lot of people don't realize that you can play it in other keys other than C. Now the way Mother Maybell with the Quarter family played it, she capoed all the way down on the sixth fret with her capo and played it in a C position, which put her right about in G flat or either G major. But anyway, I'm going to show you a bluegrass version and we're going to play this in, in G, C, and D, in G major. <laughs> And there'll be a little bit of slides in this. And we're gonna use the bass runs and, and like I say, we're gonna use a few cute little slide runs. Here we go. picking motion also involved. Uh, cross picking is another <laughs> another style of music in its own, but anyway, I, I done a little cross picking on that particular melody there in G major. And Earl Scruggs recorded this with Flatten Scruggs. There's been many versions recorded through the years of Wildwood Flair, and he played it in the key of D. And what he done was capo on the second fret and play in a C position. But I'm going to show you how to play it in D major without using a capo. <laughs> All right.
G G major there, and we were behind the second uh, and uh, third and fourth fret there doing all that, and we had to bring this pinky finger into play quite a bit too. But anyway, that's a few little methods that I wanted to share with you, and I hope you picked up something from it. But like I say, it's an old song. It's been around since 1860. And it's always good for one more time, the wildwood flower. I'll catch y'all later. God bless y'all. We love y'all.